In the United States and Canada, as in many other countries, people like to invite guests to their homes. Sooner or later, almost everyone has a story to tell about a problem with a guest. We're going to look at several difficult situations involving guests. Then we're going to talk to some people to find out what they would do in these situations. Let's take a look at our first example. I was invited to a party, and I arrived a half hour early. I thought it would take me longer to get there. Well, the host came to the door wearing old clothes and holding a vacuum cleaner. I could hear a shower running in the background. And, and on top of that, not a single guest was there. What should the guest have done? Let's find out what some of the people we talked with would have done. I would have pretended to have an errand to run in the neighborhood, like going to the drugstore, going to the grocery store, and then I would have told the host I'd come back later. If I were the guest, I would have apologized and then offered to help with things like setting the table and vacuuming. You wouldn't have left? No, I don't think so. What would you have done? Well, I guess I would have apologized and left quickly and told her I'd be back later. Well, what would you have done if you were the host? I'm not sure. I, I guess I would have asked the guest if he could come back a little later. I would have invited him in anyway and uh, told him to make himself at home. Then I would have um, finished my chores and changed clothes. Oh, uh, I think I would have asked him to help with something in the kitchen. Or maybe he could finish the vacuuming. What would you have done? Now let's take a look at another situation. I invited my boss to dinner the other night. She was having a great time and wouldn't leave. By midnight, my husband and I were so exhausted. Finally, my husband fell asleep at the table. My boss was very embarrassed when she realized it was so late. I just never know what to do when a guest won't go home. What should the host have done? Let's get some opinions. Boss or no boss, I think I'd have reminded her how late it was. I'm not sure, but I think I might have lied and told her I had to get up early in the morning. Then I would have thought of some reason. I wouldn't have done anything except pretend I wasn't tired. After all, if it is your boss. Personally, I think you need to let people know how you feel. Some people just need to be told. She should have told her boss that it was late and that she and her husband were tired. Most people would understand. Those were some good answers. How about you? What would you have done? Now let's take a look at our third situation. A friend of mine came to stay with me for the holidays. Unfortunately, she dropped a lamp of mine and broke it. I think she thought it was an old lamp and not worth much. But that lamp had belonged to my grandmother, and it was worth a lot to me. What should I have done? What should the host have done? Let's see what the people we talked with had to say. Uh, I think I would have told them how much the lamp really meant to me, and I would have dropped a hint about the cost of antiques, and I, think, I really think that a good friend would have offered to pay something. I'm sure the friend felt terrible already. The woman could have told her that the lamp was really old, and she planned to buy a new one anyway. That way, nobody would be embarrassed. What should the guest have done? Well, I've thought about that situation a lot because I had a similar experience. I accidentally broke a special antique teacup that belonged to a friend of mine. Of course, I apologized, but I felt terrible. So I replaced the cup with one that my grandmother had given me. I think my grandmother would have approved. What would you have done? And now, our last situation. After graduation, a friend of mine from college invited me to come and visit him for the weekend. When I arrived at his house, the place was a mess. There were piles of dirty dishes and trash everywhere. It looked as if the place hadn't been cleaned in ages. It really bothered me, but I didn't want to offend him. I didn't know what to do. What should the guest have done? 
Let's find out what people had to say. Well, that's kind of a touchy situation. But I think I would have said something like, it looks as if you've been really busy. Then I would have offered to help clean up. I think I would have told him I misunderstood his invitation and I'd already checked into a motel. I think that would be the best way to handle this situation. I think I would have accepted the situation and stayed with my friend. After all, it was just for the weekend. What would you have done? Well, we've heard a number of practical solutions to some difficult guest situations. Now you should be ready for your next guest.